Thank you, President. Mr. Zapatero, you have exercised the EU rotating presidency in the same way you govern your country, Spain, that is, with your back to your citizens. Today, I'm coming back here to remind you of the infamous Spanish land grab, a matter which I first brought to your attention in January. You have done nothing to resolve the menace affecting hundreds of thousands of people across Spain who face confiscation and demolition of their houses. A few days ago, the head of planning the inspectorate in Andalusia acknowledged that in that region alone, 300,000 houses are affected. This is not the handful of British citizens that some want us to believe. And the suggested solution is that the owners can have their houses legalized for a fee. They have already paid, Mr. Zapatero. My constituents regularly ask who is running Spain. Mr. Westerdale writes that he fears he is facing a situation similar to that experienced by British subjects at the hands of President Mugabe in Zimbabwe and wonders why he is receiving this treatment in a friendly European country. This is why he feels that the European Union is not capable of protecting British citizens. Se da cuenta, señor Zapatero. Do you realize, Mr. Zapatero, that this situation which is cropping up is a violation of human rights? Really, uh, I know it's part and parcel of the major crisis faced by Spain, the European Union, what, uh, do you think it's going to be saved by a country where these uh, violations are continuing to exist without the government taking any decisions to intervene? We'll continue to fight in defense of all the people, the British, the Spanish and all the Europeans who are suffering this injustice. Thank you. Thank you, madam.